Hey, it's me again. I'm glad to do another reading. And this one is for the Emperor. Um, I'm guided to do this reading and I'm also guided to pick out these decks that I picked out. So hopefully these will help. And um, <clears throat> I don't really know what um, this reading will be about. So we'll see what happens. Um, let me start with the Starseed Oracle deck and shuffle it. gonna say what do you want to say but the card came out earth it learning how to be human in the world but not of it star family you're part of a team of souls call in support Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. I could have sworn these came out before. This sound very familiar. Alright, one more card. <clears throat> Water your garden. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. <clears throat> And the bottom of the deck is Star Brothers. Horus, energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. All right, let me go ahead and put this away. Wait, you know what? Let me go ahead and pull out a card. <clears throat> Two of them, actually. And then I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> pull out um, the Archangel Michael Oracle. Let's see what it says. Let me go ahead and shuffle that as well. Okay. All these cards came out so let me go ahead and pull out two cards and I'll get back to them all right bottom of the deck is use your imagination and you'll see the answer all right <clears throat> um, the first one to clarify earth it is ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation. Second one is star family clarified by the person you are asking about is trustworthy. <clears throat> and surrender to the to the sweetness is clarified by your home is protected by angels. And water in your garden is is clarified by this is your this is your life's purpose and the one that, um, <clears throat> ooh, nice, look at that. Lean on God and the angels for support. And I'm gonna come out. <clears throat> I'll come back to that later. Um, all right, there's just some space, so let me go ahead and get that. I'm gonna use another oracle. Um, let me use this, Flowers of the Night and shuffle I feel like 
I didn't show those <clears throat> cards, so I'm going to do that now. So ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation. And the person you are asking about is trustworthy. Your home is protected by angels. <clears throat> and this is your life's purpose. Okay, let me go ahead and um, see what cards are going to come up <clears throat> with this oracle. Ooh, two came out. All right, <clears throat> so to clarify, ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation is readiness, Nottingham, catch fly. And <clears throat> to clarify, this person you're asking about is trustworthy, is celebration. Casablanca Lily. And let's see. Ooh, okay, it's a lot of cards. All right. <clears throat> so to clarify, your home is protected by angels. Got power. Queen of the night. Ooh. Got a queen. Um, and then this is your life's purpose. You got release. Japanese honeysuckle. I'm hearing honeysuckle <laughs> a lot. And then tap Japanese in front of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm not gonna look at those cards. I'll put them away and come back to them. Bottom of the deck is Awaken Blazing Star. So let me go ahead and show you the cards that came out. <clears throat> Readiness, Nottingham, Catch Fly. Celebration, Casablanca Lily. And Power, Queen of the Night. And release Japanese honeysuckle. Alright. <clears throat> so all the cards are here. Let me go ahead and take them out so that there's space for the tarot deck. I'm gonna be using um the um darkness of light tarot um to see what the messages are. So, what's the card on the first? I don't even know what them. I don't even know what I'm saying. What's the first card that you see? Ten of Coins. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. All right. Let me go ahead and shuffle um, until this card is mixed up and the energy is fresh. Once 
the magician, the hermit. Oh my God. So if you're a Virgo, this is your card, number nine, the hermit. And you have six of swords. All right, so that's four cards. Let me go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna clarify the Knight of Wands, the Magician, the Hermit, and the Six of Swords. So let me show you what came out first. Knight of Wands. The Magician. The Hermit. And six of swords. Okay. One of the deck is Ace of Cups. All right. Why the Knight of Wands? Look at that. Four of Wands. Ooh, four of Wands. Four of Wands. And why, uh, why the magician? Two of Cups to clarify the magician. And King of Swords to clarify the hermit. And nine of swords to clarify the six of swords. Oh my god, what the all right? Uh, bottom of the deck is temperance. Ooh, look at that temperance. So, if you're a Sagittarius, that's your card. You're the temperance number 14. All right, I'm gonna clarify four of ones, two cups, king of swords, and nine of swords. So, why the four of ones? show um, these cards four of ones two of cups isn't that beautiful I mean just the imagery is just beautiful king of swords and nine of swords So let me ask again, why the four of ones? Yeah, a card tried to come out and it was blocked. Okay. So let's see. All right, these need to go back. And then we have another card that came out. Three of Wands, to clarify the Four of Wands, you got the Knight of Coins, or Knight of Pentacles, to clarify the Two of Cups. You have the Justice, to clarify the King of Swords. Look at that. All right, um, why the Nine of Swords? Queen of Cups, oh my God. So you have a King and a Queen here. You have the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Look at that. All 
A ver. So, let's see. Hang on. Let me get these. So what does my intuition want to say? Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh my God, look at that. That's like one, one, two, three, four, five, six cards. All right, I'll get back to that. And then what does... His intuition, I want to say. Ooh, the hair font. You got three cards. Ooh. All right, I'll get back to that. Um, and then there's another intuition that I'm going to ask. To see what she wants to say. So what does her intuition want to say? Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, oh my God. One card, oh my God. So you have a Queen of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, the King of Swords can be an Emperor. The Queen of Cups can be an Empress, and the Queen of Pentacles can also be an Empress. Wow. Um, what is this reading mostly about? Oh, that's a lot of, oh my God, look at that, the lovers. Look at that. So you have, what? So you have, so you have the two of cups and the lovers? And then, um, I just saw the temperance earlier. Oh my God. Get the queen of wands here too. All right. Um. Wow. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and interpret these cards so that um, I can get the messages. All right. So the nine of wands is the fastest knight on the deck. It's also very impulsive. Um, I'm seeing a male, so that's going to be the subject. It's going to be a male. A male. All right. So he's the fastest knight on the deck, but also the most impulsive. The four of wands is about stability, harmony, home, marriage. I'm seeing marriage again. And the three of wands is about waiting. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and... Block that and reverse it because there's no need to be waiting. All right. So the opposite of waiting is movement. Yep. Um, it's like I'm seeing like waiting is in action. So the opposite of waiting is action. All right. So the three of ones in reverse 
is action. And because it's not a wants, it's also intuitive. Not only is he going to get there fast, but he's going to get there first. He's, he's going to go in the right direction. So he's going to get there first, get there fast, and he's going to get married. And that's going to be the action taken. Yep. So that's what he's going to do. And the magician is um, someone that can manifest anything very quickly. The two cups, um, they have a mutual connection. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest. So you have so you have two knights here. So you go from the slowest knight on the deck, slowest but most practical knight on the deck, and the fastest but most impulsive. So yeah, there's no need for the Knight of Pentacles. Because he's very intuitive, there's no need to, to go slow or to be cautious. So that's going to be reversed. So the Knight of Pentacles becomes the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is not going to be impulsive because um, he's being guided by his intuition. So yep, so he's going to get married very quickly. And he because he's a magician too, He's going to manifest this very quickly with the one that he has a connection with. So he's going to marry the one that he has a connection with. And it's mutual very quickly. So this is going to happen very quickly because um, all the negative energy has been reversed and blocked. Yep. So whatever, whatever is blocking the flow is being removed. And the hermit is, yeah, um... Surrender. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's the hangman, hang on. So the hermit is, um, that's the Virgo card. So if you're a Virgo, you're the hermit. That's also someone that's enlightened. Yep, went to go um, search for enlightenment and found it. And the king of blades is um, a male Libra that has a good judgment. And justice is about basically balancing the karma. So whatever has been wronged will be righted. Yep. So because he became enlightened, he made good judgment. And because he's enlightened and he's able to make good judgment, he's able to get justice. For himself and for everyone else. Yep. That's what I see. And the Six of uh, Swords is moving on. And I'm seeing a female. So he's able to help this female that he has a connection with. That he wants to marry. That he's going to marry. Um, he's going to help her move on to something more peaceful and more calm. And the Nine of, of, of Swords is stress. Yeah, that's negative. That's blocked and reversed. So that's not going to happen. So what's the opposite of stress? Peace. Yep. That's what I'm seeing. So he's going to help her move on to something more peaceful. And that's clarified by the Queen of Cups. Yeah. So yeah, she's an empath. Um, and she's going to be an empress someday. And she's going to... Yeah, she's the same person... That he has a connection with. That he's going to marry. That he's going to help find peace. And it's going to help him find justice. And the same person that. Um, he has a connection with. In the lover's card. Yep. And the same person. That he's connected to. In the temperance card. It's the same person. So, let's see. Let me get these um, cards and see what they say. All right. So, Star Ancestors, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom. Look a little deeper. Whew. 
Portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. Um, and then this is from um, the Archangel Mike Oracle. Innocence. Pay attention to your dreams. And lean on God and the angels for support. Let me show you what it looked like. Lean on God and the angels for support. Innocence. And pay attention to your dreams. And these two cards came up from the uh, Followers of the Night Challenge, Dragon Fruit, and Death, Devil's Trumpet. So you have Death, Devil's Trumpet, and Dragon Fruit as a challenge. So let's see, um, my intuition wants to say five of coins, hardship, that's blocked and reversed, so that's not going to happen. Seven of cups, options, choice, solutions, that's blocked, that's not going to happen. Seven of coins, it's worth it, that's blocked, that's not going to happen. Because you know it's worth it, so why would you even question it? Queen of Wands, that's the Queen of Passion. And she can also become the Empress if she wanted. Death. Um, so if you're Scorpio, that's your card. Your death. Number 13. Knight of Blades. Um, thinks and then acts. And that's it. Alright, that's what my intuition wanted to tell me. And then his intuition wanted to uh, talk about the hair font. So if you're a Taurus, that's your card. You're the hair font. And the moon, if you're a Pisces, that's your card. You're the moon. And two wands is being able to see clearly and having to make a decision. Yep. So if you want to know what they mean, the hair font is external guidance, and that's the male. The moon is something hidden, but it will be revealed um, when the time comes. And two ones is, yeah, having to make a decision, but having a clear head about it. So that's what his intuition wanted to say. So her intuition wanted to say, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so this is what I know about the Queen of Pentacles. Her match is the King of Pentacles, a very abundant male, father figure, um, great provider, protector, hard worker, and successful. That's also a Capricorn. And the Queen of, of Pentacles is a Taurus female. She's also very abundant. She's very nurturing. She makes a great mother figure. She is stable, grounded, um, and she also knows how to protect and provide. Yep, so she would make a great mom. And then um, this reading is mostly about the lovers. So, 
these two have a spiritual connection because they have an angel in the middle. That's the kind of connection you want. You want the lovers. So if you're a Gemini, this is your card. You're the lovers. Three of swords, that's the blocked. Reversed, sent back. Yep, there's no room for negativity in this reading. Three cups um, is about friendship and celebration. The hangman is, um, I'm seeing surrender and um, having a different perspective. Six of pentacles is equal give and take. And then you're back to the, lo the lovers. All right. So um, one last message before I end this reading. I've been shuffling for a long time. Come on. All right. So I got three cards. We came out. Seven of swords? No. No. That's blocked and reversed. None of coins? Yes. Single, independent, and abundant female. Or nine of pentacles. Eight of wands? Yes. Something very quick. So very quick action and communication. And then you're back to the Seven of Swords in reverse. So when you have the Seven of Swords in reverse, you go from somebody that's dishonest to somebody that's honest. All right? So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and end this reading on a positive note. I hope I helped you in some way, and I will talk to you again soon.